Hi guys, this is Basker Berry. Welcome to my YouTube channel. And in this video, I am going to talk about the some of the functions which is present in SQL like distinct, top, order by, group by, having. Okay, so for let's start with the first topic, distinct. Uh, distinct is nothing but it eliminates all the duplicate records uh, and fetches only the unique records from the table. So this is a syntax for that. We need to have select distinct and column names uh, from the table name. So let's see practically how it can be done. So I'm all so I'm, I'm using the AdventureWorks database itself. Uh, so let's start with the distinct. This is a keyword used for that. Let's select the select star from. Let's first uh, click on the, check the person table. So here we have almost uh, 90,000 records, 90,972 records here. So let's uh, select. distinct uh, what we select we'll select distinct person type here person type from person okay so if you see now we have the distinct like six distinct person types here so along with that if we want to add the additional columns also we can do that so let's add uh, title as well to see what titles they have provided distinctly so if, we, if you see here they have the these person types have these titles are uh, distinct in them okay um, so this is uh, about uh, distinct basically this was the thing here is it removes the duplicates and fetches only the unique records Okay, so in that case, we use a distinct uh, functionality. The second one is we have a top here. Top is nothing but to fetch the uh, top 10 rows or 20 rows uh, for the analysis purpose or for uh, uh, checking the sample data. So we use this functionality if the data, if the table contains huge data there, just to analyze what kind of data present in the table. So we have two functions here, like one is top we can use or top uh, in numbers along with the percentage also we can use here. So let me select this query, select star from person, select top 10 records, I'll say, top 10 star. So I get top 10 records here. Okay, even we can increase this number also, top 15. So we can just, uh, based on the count here, the number of records, it fetches those records. Along with this, we can also give the percentage here, top 15, uh, top 10 percent so we get like 10 percent so we have 19,000 so we got almost like uh, 1900 records here uh, let me select 5 percent 5 percent is also huge here so we get almost 1000 records here okay so this is the um, to select to get the top uh, uh, some uh, top sample records because uh, basically if you go and see this table we have um, this table has a huge data like uh, more than 19,000 so if, to analyze the data or to get the only the sample data we can use that top uh, 10 or 20 so we can get the idea on what kind of data it has been stored in the table okay basically the production data will be huge so it will be take time to load all the data when you're querying that so we use these options to get those top 10 records or 15 records okay so the next one is uh, we'll go by sorting that uh, to sort that we use um, order by clause uh, let me use uh, the same table person table here So for sorting, I'm taking again the same table, person table. So let me select uh, what is the name here, name columns here. First name, last name, and the middle name from person. So for sorting, we use uh, order by clause. Order by let's start with the first name 
this is a ascending order so you get the scott iron so this is ascending sorting only keyword is we need to change this ascending to descending so now we can see the names first name has been uh, sorted with a group by class and uh, having them having conditions to filter on that group basically it's specific the condition that filter which groups results appear in the final results okay so for this uh, let me take a different table here uh, this is uh, grouping and aggregating so let's select star from uh, which table shall i take uh, uh, let me take the production uh, inventory one production dot production inventory because we get the, all the sales details there okay quantity we have so basically if you want to know the sum of the all the quanti quantities select sum of quantity from this table so we got the results but we don't want the only the sum we also want the which uh, from which shelf it is there so let's take it as So because we, it doesn't contain either agree, uh, it contains aggregate functions or the group clause is not present so it, it the query has been filled so let's add the group by group by we need to give um, the shelf which is not aggregated So we have this and even we can sort this also by group by we can order this order by shelf so you can see this it has been sorted from a to y okay um, so along with this we can also uh, filter out the conditions on this group like uh, if you want only first uh, from a to h you can provide that in having conditions having uh, shelf in let's use between one between a and let's say h okay so this is one and the similar operations we can also be done using the where clause also okay let me show you that uh, here we will be removing the having and we'll be writing the where even I want to remove this as well where I'll add the same condition see let me run both in the same query so you can see you can see here both the results are same here a to h and a to h so if uh, if that is the case what is the difference between them uh, here we can also use the uh, both uh, where and uh, having in the same class uh, let's say that in the where I have selected uh, combined both using where and having clause here in the where conditions it filters out the rows in the in the having clause it filters the groups uh, you know, basically column level filter will be there 
So if you say that where, uh, uh, let's take uh, product ID. Product ID is uh, less than 2000. Okay, and um, sorry, we don't have so many products. Let's take less than 200. Group by self having the self between A and H and order by shelf. Okay, so let's run this query. So you can see that we have only A and B because in the 200 records we could, we, there are no other uh, shelves available there. So we got only these results. This is a combination of using both where and having clause. So if this is the conditions, if both are giving the same results, what is the difference between them then? So there are quite few differences. So some are um, in the where clause we can use, if you observe it is used before the group by clause and it is used after group by clause. If you see here, where clause is used before by group by clause and having clause is used by after group by clause. In the execution plan, what happens is before, after selecting the records from the product inventory, it before grouping it filter out all the records and groups later but whereas here it groups first and after that it filters out the uh, data so some performance improvement will be there based on the situations which we need the next one is where clause is used to filter the records from the table based on a specific condition okay but uh, but whereas having clause is used to filter the records from the groups based on a specific conditions this is from the table this is from the groups Okay. Where clause can be used without group by clause. So where clause can be used without using group by clause. So we can just comment this to just show you that. Okay. But whereas um, so we we have removed that quantity here. But whereas if we remove the group by here as in the having clause and I'll remove this aggregate function and let's try to run it it should throw me an error so it's throwing an error because either it should contain aggregate functions or a group by clause okay so that's not possible let's revert it back to the origin so this is a condition that is not satisfying where clause implements the row operations having clause implements the clo uh, column column level operations where clause can be used to select the update or delete statement. Having clause can only be used in the select statement. Okay, because it's grouping, it doesn't know idea which one to update or delete one there. So where, in, where clause is used in a single row functions like upper lower, whereas having clause is used in a multiple row functions like sum and count. Okay, so these are the, uh, some of the differences which we have between the where and having clause. I think this is quite the, I think I have covered all the queries here related to the uh, related to these functionalities okay thank you for watching please do subscribe my youtube channel